Hello everyone, welcome back to Public Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to translate Telegram bot message to any other language using OpenAI. Here, my objective is that whenever a new message will be received on my Telegram group, automatically I want to translate it into another language and then I want to send the same translated message to any other group of Telegram. So, how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to integrate all these applications and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of an amazing automation automation and integration software public connect. Now here we have telegram in our trigger and then in action we have open AI and telegram once again. So we are going to connect all of them by using public connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically translate telegram messages into another language by using OpenAI. So let's suppose I have two groups on my telegram account. One group contains the group members who speak English and another group contains the group members who speak Spanish. And now I want that as soon as a team member is going to send a message on the telegram group which contains the members who speak English, automatically the message should be translated into Spanish and then it should be sent on another group in which I have the Spanish people. So so in order to create this automation, we are going to set up a simple integration between Telegram and OpenAI. And that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation and integration software, Pabli Connect. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach on this homepage, we can find two options here, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. And also when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now as an existing user I am directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation we are going to use Pabli Connect so let's click on access now. And it will take us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now on this dashboard we can find all of our workflows which we have created and we can also create folders here to save the workflows. Now to create a new workflow we will click on this create workflow option. Let's do that and here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow so first of all let us provide a name over here. Translate telegram bot messages to any language with open AI. Okay after giving the name we can also select the folder in which we want to save the workflow. So from the drop down I am going to select this test integrations folder and now we will click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. What are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the two main principles on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. Whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose in this workflow we are going to take telegram in our trigger and open AI in our action and we want that as soon as a message will be received from telegram group automatically the message should be translated into another language with open AI. Here we can find that our action is a response towards our trigger because when the trigger happens that means when the message is received from telegram then only it is translated into another language by using open AI otherwise not okay. Now after understanding this concept let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all we will select our trigger application over here. So we will select telegram bot over here. And now we will select our trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. So we will simply select set webbook or watch updates over here. So we are going to set up a connection with telegram bot so that whenever the message will be received the response will be captured here in Pabli connect of that message and with that response the workflow is going to start. We will click on connect and here from the given options I am going to select add new connection to build a new connection with telegram bot account. So basically here we are going to set up a bot by using Pabli connect and now whenever a message will be received on our telegram group or channel the response of that message will be automatically shared here with the help of that bot in Pabli connect okay and for doing that here we need to enter the token now in order to find that token the instructions are provided to us here first of all we need to go towards our telegram account this is my telegram account and here we need to search for bot father okay after coming on bot father here we need to send a message and that is new bot so as soon as we have sent the message over here, it is saying, all right, a new bot. How are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. So in order to create a bot, first of all, we need to provide a name to that bot. So here, let's say I'm going to provide a name as translator. Okay. It is saying, good, now let's choose a username for your bot. It must end in bot. The example is given over here. So whatever username you want to select for your bot, it should end with underscore bot. So let's say here, I'm going to enter the name as translator underscore bot. Okay. Okay, so it is saying, sorry, the username is already taken. Now let's try another name. 
So I have tried another name, test translator 3 underscore bot. Let's try this. And yes, the name is selected. Done. Congratulations on your new bot. So our bot is created. The name of the bot is test translator 3 underscore bot. Okay. And here is the token. That means the API key. So first of all, let us copy the token. And then we are going to paste it here in this field. Okay. Done. In the same manner, you need to find the token by creating a bot. And let's click on save over here. As we have done that, our Telegram bot is successfully connected with Public Connect. And with this, now we are going to move further. So after building the connection with Telegram bot, in order to receive the responses of messages on our group, first of all, we need to create a new group. So once again, I'm going to take you towards my Telegram account. And here we are going to create a new group. Okay, we'll click on new group. And in that group, first of all, we need to add our bot, which we have recently created. So the name of my bot is test translator. So this is the bot translator. Let's select it. And now we are going to add it in the group. And it is asking us the name of the group. So here I'm going to give the name as English team. Okay, so this group is for my English team. And now we are going to click on this arrow button and with this our group is created now let's go and check the members of the group now in the group we have two members the bot with the name as translator and the other is me that is the owner of the group so here in order to receive the response of the messages of this group into public connect first of all we need to provide the admin access of the group to our bot okay and that can be done with the help of telegram mobile application so by using telegram mobile application here i'm going to provide the admin access to my bot and now as i have provided the admin access to my bot here we can find that in front of translator it is showing admin okay we will go back towards public connect and now we are going to click on save and send test request button and as soon as we have done that it is showing waiting for response that means now we have to do a test submission so here in the group with the name as english team i am going to send a message in english let's say hello this is a test message and as soon as i have entered the message we will go back towards public connect and we can find that here we have received the response. Here is the message and here are all the other details. Now, this means that we have successfully built an integration between Telegram and Public Connect. So now whenever a new message will be sent on this group with the name as English team by a team member, the response of that message will be automatically captured here in Public Connect. And now what is our objective? Our objective is to change this message. That means to translate this message into another language. Here, my objective is to translate the message, which is in English into Spanish by using OpenAI. So I'm going to connect OpenAI with Public Connect. And for that, let's move towards our action step. Here in the action application, we are going to select OpenAI. And now we need to select the action event. So our action event will be generate content. Let's click on connect. And here from the given options, I'm going to select existing connection because I have already built the connection with my open AI account. If you want to build a new connection, you can click on this add new connection button. And here you need to provide the token in order to find your token. First of all, you need to log into your open AI application and then you have to click on this hyperlink. When you will do that, it is going to take you towards API key page of open AI. From there, you can generate a new token and paste it over here. Okay, now we will go with existing connection and we will click on save. As we have done that, we can find that our OpenAI account is successfully connected with Public Connect. So we will move further. After building the connection here, we need to enter the details. Okay, so first of all, it is asking us to select model. Now here we have multiple options. We are going to select this text, the WinC003 model because it is most used and most capable model of chat GPT-3 series. So by using this model, we are going to generate the content. Okay, the next is the prompt. This is very important step. Prompt is the command which we need to provide to open AI that what we want it to do for us. Now, because here my objective is to translate the message which we have received from Telegram into another language language so my prompt will be translate this message in Spanish so this will be my prompt and now I'm going to enter the message over here which I want to translate so we have already received the message from our earlier response this is our earlier response that is telegram bot we will simply map the data over here now what is mapping mapping is inserting data from previous step here our previous step is given and here are all the details so we want to map the text that is message so it is given over here let's select it and it is mapped now, when we have mapped this message, it has become dynamic and it is going to change with each and every response. So now whenever a new message will be received from Telegram group, automatically in this field, the message is going to replace with a new message. But the data which we have entered manually, that is this prompt, translate this message in Spanish, this has become static and it is not going to change with each and every response. Okay, so whatever data we want in the workflow to be replaced automatically, that we map by using our previous step. And when we want the data should remain same with each and every response, then we type it manually. Okay. 
okay let's move further and here we need to enter the maximum tokens okay this means the maximum number of words which we want to use for generating the content here the default value is 256 and the maximum number of token which we can use is 2048 okay so because my purpose here is to translate the message which we are receiving from telegram group and therefore i do not want to provide a specific number over here therefore i'm going to keep this field blank okay the next is the sampling type okay here we have two options temperature sampling and nucleus sampling okay so i'm going to go with temperature sampling as it is default okay the, the next thing which we have to provide is sampling value whatever sampling type you have selected you also have to provide the value for that and here the range is between 0 to 1 okay so the temperature controls randomness in the content if you are going to select 0 over here your content will be repetitive and if you are selecting 1 over here your content will be random so because here my objective is just to translate the message which we are receiving from telegram here i'm going to go with default value that is 0 0.7 okay the next is a presence penalty it increases the chance of involving new topics in your content once again because my objective is just to translate i am going to go with default value which is zero over here okay the next is frequency penalty it decreases the chance of involving same terms or same lines in your content here also i'm going to go with the default value that is zero okay and now after entering all the details we will simply click on save and send test request button Button. and we can find that we have received the response and here our message is translated into spanish so this means that our workflow is successful up till now and now whenever we are going to receive a new message on our telegram group english team automatically that message will be translated into spanish now what is our next objective here my objective is that whenever a message will be received from english team in english language i want to translate it by using openai and then i want to send it to another group in which i have spanish members so what i'm going to do once again i'm going to connect telegram with public connect and we will click on this add action step button and after adding one more action step over here in the action application i'm going to select telegram bot once again and now we will select our action event and this time we are going to select send a text message or reply because our objective is to send the message okay let's click on connect and now once again i'm going to go with add new connection and once again we need to provide a token over here so we will go back towards telegram and we'll go towards bot father and here once again we are going to send the message as new bot so basically we are going to set up a new bot over here okay so it is asking us to provide a name here i'm going to give the name as spanish team okay so now we are going to select the username this will be my username let's let's test and yes it is finalized okay so again a, a token is provided to us let's copy it and we will paste it quickly over here in this field done and we will click on save and with this we can find that once again the telegram bot is successfully connected with public connect let's move further here we need to enter the details in these fields in order to send the message first of all it is asking us the chat id that on what chat what group or what channel you want to send the message okay for that i'm going to create a new group in order to show you okay so we will create a new group once again and now once again we need to add the bot which we have recently created in our group so the name of the bot is spanish team so this is the bot name spanish team we will click on this arrow and now i'm going to give the name of my group as spanish team okay after giving the name here we have created the group okay once again we need to provide the admin access to our bot for this group also and that can be done with the help of telegram mobile application so let me do that and we can find that as soon as i have provided the admin access it is showing admin over here okay so we will cross this and now here my objective is that whenever a english message will be received on this english team group automatically after translating the message i want to send it on my spanish team group okay so here i'm going to go back towards family connect and now we are going to enter the chat id okay so in order to find the chat id we have to come towards our group and we have to look towards the url so this number which is given after hashtag is our chat id let's copy it and we are going to paste it here in this field this is our chat id now the next is the text message what message you want to send so here i want to send the same message which we have already received from our english team group but in translated format so we have already translated the message from open ai so we will simply map the message this is the message okay so again we have mapped this message therefore it is going to replace with each and every response the next is the message thread id reply to message id disable notification etc some of the details are not mandatory over here therefore i'm going to ignore them and now we will simply click on save and send test request button 
And as soon as we have done that here, we have received the response along with the ID. This means that the message is sent on our Telegram group. Let's go and check. And yes, here we can find that the message is sent in Spanish language. Okay. So this means that our workflow is perfectly successful and we have successfully built an integration between Telegram, OpenAI and Telegram. And now whenever a team member is going to send a message on my English team, automatically the message will be translated by using OpenAI and then the translated message will be sent on my another group with a name as Spanish team. And for all this process, we have set up a Telegram bot successfully by using Pabli Connect. Okay, so it will be done automatically. Now we are going to test this workflow. Here I am going to send another message in this English team in English language. Okay, so let's say this is another message. And as soon as I will send this message over here in the group, automatically the same message will be sent on Spanish group also in translated format. Okay, so let's enter it. And we can find that as soon as we have sent the message here in English team, the same message is received on Spanish team also in translated format in Spanish language. Okay, this means that our workflow is running perfectly fine. Let's go back towards Pabli Connect and here we will summarize what we have done here in the workflow. So we have taken three simple steps, trigger and two actions. In trigger, we have taken Telegram bot and in action, we have taken OpenAI as well as Telegram bot once again. And we have connected all of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever a new response will be captured, that means whenever a new message will be received from a Telegram group, automatically the message will be translated and then the same message will be sent into translated format in another group. In the same manner, by following the same steps, you can very easily create this automation and this will enable you to automatically translate Telegram messages by using OpenAI. Open AI. So in order to show you, here I have taken the example of English to Spanish. You can translate any other language in the same manner by using Open AI. Okay, so this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the red If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.